I am so excited for this. You have no idea. Uh, so as the description or title suggests, this is a baby haul. And so let's just, um, let's clarify some things to start. I am not having a baby, um, but my best friend in the whole world is having her first baby in like a month now. And her baby shower is this weekend. Um, so this past weekend, I spent kind of just popping in and out of stores and kind of collecting uh, exactly what I wanted to give her as a gift. Uh, so let's get straight into it. I'm so, I'm so excited for this. So excited. Um, so the first store I popped into was, sorry the bags are so loud, um, was the paper source. And the paper source uh, just opened kind of close to where we live and it's so cute. They have the cutest cards and like the cutest little knickknacks and stuff, crafty things. So anyway, oh I forgot to say, bestie, if you're out there, no watching. Um, otherwise you spoil your gift. Oh, that's not fun. So the first thing I got was this card and how freaking cute is this? First of all, it's in like a rose gold which is like my favorite color. It says, the most adorbs mama to be. That is adorable, come on. Just so cute. They had so many cute cards. I chose this one because it just looked so chic, but yet still like so cute. Um, so yeah, got that. And then the last thing I got at that paper source was this book, Star Wars Vader's Little Princess again. How freaking adorable is this? So what I thought was so cute was on the invitation, um, it said to bring like your favorite childhood book. And my best friend knows me and she knows that I could definitely not just bring one book, um, which you'll see, I bought like a million books for her baby. Um, and also as I'm sure you could reason, she is having a little princess, she's having a girl, I'm so excited. Um, so I saw this and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, she knows that so I thought that this would be like the cutest little gift to give and every time they see this book they can think of me and and yeah so cute oh oh so old there's the paper source um so the next bag we'll kind of look into was Barnes and Noble so again as I said um the point is to kind of bring your favorite childhood book and I'm a huge reader. I love to read. And so, it was so obviously hard for me to pick one book. I didn't. Picked a lot of books. So, Barnes & Noble. First up, oh my goodness, Rainbow Fish Bath Book. How cute is this? I have to tell you, I was losing it shopping for this baby because... What I love, and I don't know about you guys, but when I think back to my childhood, so many, like, wonderful memories are of, like, me reading these lovely books and just being transported to, like, just another world. And what I love so much is that so many of those same books that I read as a kid are still out there. And so it just, it means so much to me to be able to share, like, what I loved so much as a kid to, like, the next generation. Um, so what I really loved about this was who didn't love bath books? I mean, they're like so much fun. You can read them in the bath. Um, and this one is so cute, so soft, just adorbs. Uh, the next thing I got at Barnes and Noble was Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Um, so I have a kind of close relationship to Miss Belle. And so this again was like a little wink. I can't wink. I'm a little wink so that anytime their daughter reads this book, they can think of me. Um, the next book I got, just adorable. The Magic School Bus, Lost in the Solar System. So I don't know about you guys, but The Magic School Bus were the coolest books around when I was a kid. And the TV show was awesome. And they still are printing The Magic School Bus, bus books. Um, and they had all of them, which was so cool. And I don't know, I love outer space. And this one just looked so awesome that I got her this one. Um, I went a little overboard with these books, I'm sure. Um, so the next book I got is actually, it's going to be a gift from my mom. 
um, because my mom's going as well. And it's the story of Ferdinand. And I remember reading this book and it's just, it's such a classic. So cute. Um, again, like such a throwback to like when I was a kid. So lovely that they're still like printing and selling these books. And, and yeah, just so wonderful. Love it. So that was everything I got at Barnes and Noble. Let's move forward. So loud. So loud. Come on. Come on. Get in the bag. Um, so the next place I went, Anthropology. And I know some of you might be thinking, Anthropology? Like, how did you get baby stuff at Anthropology? But Anthropology, um, at least this one that I went to on 3rd Avenue, carries the cutest baby books and like little baby things adorable so they don't carry like clothes um but they carry books or like little toys and i just i couldn't not um anthropology is like one of her favorite stores one of my favorite stores and so i just had to sorry the bag and the wrapping everything is everywhere um so first up i got anthropology i can't even handle all this cute stuff how the grinch stole christmas in french Oh my goodness, so freaking cute. I think I've said freaking cute like 80 times during this video. Um, anyway, such a classic again, but what I loved was that it was in French and she actually took, I wanna say like four years of French or something. And I think that this is just so cute and she can read it to her daughter and I don't know if they're gonna teach her French, but I mean, it, it was just too cute not to get, right? Too cute. Um, the next thing I got at Anthro was this adorable book. It's called Julia Child. Get it? Um, so adorable. So chic. That's what I really loved about this. And, and kind of all the stuff in anthropology is just always so chic and, like, classy. And I just thought this was such a beautiful book to, like, put in a nursery. And one that she can keep forever. And, like, even if she wanted to, she could put this in the living room. You know? Like, it's not... It's not overly childish. Um, so yeah, just so adorable. And it's about food and, and just family and love. And, and she's a huge fan of Julia Child, so I thought that was really cute. Um, and the last thing I got in Anthropology, again, which I love, was this book. And it's called Let's Make Some Great Placemat Art. And what I love about this is that it's a book of placemats, but I hope you can see it. They're, they're all different and they all like have little instructions on them for little games or artwork and little activities you can play like while you're waiting for mom to cook dinner and um, I thought this was so beautiful again so chic so gorgeous and um, she majored in art in college and is a bit of a it's a bit of an artist herself and so I thought this would be lovely to kind of share with her new little girl so cute so those are all the things I got at anthro We'll go next to, hmm, I'll put that there. Um, let's go next to Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel was actually the last place I went, um, but the box that's next is quite big. Um, so I went to Crate and Barrel. Again, you might be thinking, Crate and Barrel for a baby? That's weird. Why'd you go there? Um, went there for one reason in particular. I went there to get... Let me show you. So cute! A baby's first Christmas ornament. Mm, so adorable. So, fun fact, they don't actually celebrate Christmas, but, uh, well, not that they don't celebrate Christmas. They're Jewish. Um, so, they don't celebrate Christmas religiously, um, but they've always, it's been a tradition, they always come to our house um, for Christmas Eve, to celebrate Christmas Eve, and just be with family and, and friends, and, and so it's gonna be her baby's first Christmas coming to our house and celebrating Christmas Eve, and it's my mom's birthday too, and so I think it, it'll definitely, even though they don't celebrate Christmas in a religious sense, it's still something very sentimental and, and beautiful. So yeah, went to Crate and Barrel for that. I'm just gonna wrap this bad boy back up. Throw her in the bag. I also got some, just a side note, I also got some, they're having a big sale on all Halloween stuff right now because it's almost Halloween. I mean, I got some cupcake papers with little ravens on them. Spooky. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make Halloween cupcakes. So, 
There you go. Random. Couldn't resist. Um, so the last place I went, so exciting, not for books, was Janie and Jack. So adorable. Um, I have never been in Janie and Jack before. Their stuff is so cute. Again, too cute, too cute. And what I really love was I told the woman that it was a gift. And instead of just putting it in the bag and like, giving me a folded up box, she packed everything so nicely in this like gorgeous gift box um, that is just adorable. So anyway, time to share with you the baby clothes. Now, just get ready for this. This is so cute, just hard for me to handle. Um, so I'm going to carefully take the tape off of the tissue paper without ripping it. Success. Okay, so I ended up getting her two different outfits. Um, just so cute, so cute. So the first outfit is like a little Parisian style black and white outfit. Here are the shoes. How adorable. Yee, little shoes, I hope you can see them. So cute with little white bows on them. Adorable. And these were, I, mean, I don't know about the price, but these were size one. So I think um, they're not intended for walking purposes, but for when your baby's like, I want to say, probably 6 to 12 months old. So still definitely not walking, but, you know. Um, to go with those shoes, a little beret. I think that's what you call this. So cute. And this is 3 to 6 months. So adorable. This tiny little hat. It has a little bow on it. Little top. So adorable. To go with this little hat and those little shoes, a little jumper. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? Um, gold buttons on the front, adorable. So lovely. And what I love about it is it's um, it's thick, but it's short sleeved. So baby won't be so hot in it. Baby can wear it during the fall, during the late spring. Um, yeah, and it's just like a little dress, little jumper dress. So cute. And I love this little Peter Pan neckline. I think that'll look so cute with like the little hat. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Anyway, to finish that whole outfit off, this is like the cutest, or actually two more pieces. Um, this cute little jacket. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop it. This is adorable. Um, cute little freaking buttons, little tie, and again, just a beautiful collar. And this is so stunning. To wear with over this, oh my goodness, I can't, cannot handle it. Um, and to tie this whole outfit together, I also got her some little tights. What I really loved about this outfit was that one of the little girls in one of the pictures I noticed um, as I was checking out was wearing it, like one of the little model babies. Um, and it looked so cute, pulled all together. And so it just made me feel like really happy and really great to know that like, okay, all this stuff is going to look super cute. Um, so that's the first outfit. So adorable. I can't even handle it. Um, and the second outfit is a little bit more casual, and we have, so to start, we have this, like, cute little, I guess you would call this a onesie, I don't even know, with a silver trim and two little dragonflies in purple. So, cute. You can wear this on its own. Totally could. But, I also got a little sweater to go over it. Little purple lavender sweater with these cute little buttons. So adorable. So cute. And then these little purple pants. Stop, really. I mean, these are just too cute. They have a little bow. So adorable. They're like capri length. I guess it depends how long your baby is. Um, little, little slit right there. So cute. So this whole outfit. I don't even know if I can hold this all up. But here we go. How cute is that? You can't see the pants, but you know, so cute. Um, so yeah, that was all baby things I got. That was my huge baby haul. Um, again, if you ever have the opportunity to shop for a baby, it's like literally one of the most satisfying, joyful experiences you could have. Um, it was so wonderful and I can't wait to give her all these gifts and I can't wait to shop more for the baby once she's here. It's going to be so exciting. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this baby haul. You can, I'll try to find as much stuff as I can and link it down below if you liked anything and also want to pick it up. And yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!